So it's uh, <coughs> Monday, 21 May 2018 at uh, 2.05 p.m. I think I shaved that. I took the electron. This is, oh my god, my, my, I don't shave underneath my Oh, I still have to lose weight. I still have to lose weight. I haven't been taking care of myself. Uh, I'm gonna go to the. Uh, I'm gonna go to the. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, I'm going to go to the therapist. Yeah, that looks really odd. Odd looking. Let's get out. Hmm. So, yeah, I'm just wearing a little scared thing. And, uh. <clears throat> um, I think I might try on this. Lipstick I got like a, um, uh, oh, that red looks nice I think <laughs> uh, yeah it's the uh, Inica organic uh, so this is completely vegan and cruelty free and all of that. Uh, See, certified organic, certified vegan, after dark. So I got a, a lipstick that was red, because I want to get a, a red, reddish. I mean, we're, we're trying to find a red one, and I just can't think to find one. I don't know what this is going to go. <laughs> this might not work. I can tell already. So I don't know. Uh, my weight was 61.5 a couple of months ago I was like 58 58 and I was like uh, yeah, so I, uh, yeah, I need to work on that I need to work on that it's my hair I was like oh I don't know, maybe it's the hormones, or I've been eating well, and I don't know, so lots of reasons why the hair can fall. So, um. Oh, yeah, I'm going to see the psychologist. I'm gonna drive the car. I finally drove the car the other day, and um, it's got the the brake is a bit sensitive. It's like I'm not used to the brake because it's like you know, it's very sensitive. So I've got to. I don't like driving. It's not my thing. I don't like driving. Oh, I don't like driving. So next week, Tuesday, I gotta go to the electrolysis, which I'm, I'm thankful for, because I really want to get more of this hair removed, because it's really annoying. I did do three sessions of voice practice last week. I was thinking of doing one today, but I. Uh, and I was feeling very really rushed because I, I prepared my veggie stew and I don't know, I got very really tired. So I, hopefully this week I can do four, four sessions and then gradually bring it up.
because I've been seeing a lot of horror movies. I actually got like at this place. Uh, this, oh, wait, there are these veins and stuff on my hair. <clears throat> that is um. It's called JB Hi-Fi. It's an electronic store. They also sell Blu-rays, and they were having this sale for like if you bought one, you get one free. So I, I bought like six Blu-rays for the price of three. And again on the weekend I ordered so like four for the price of two. So I got Annabelle and Annabelle Creation and Blood Sucking Freaks. Oh that's just a <laughs> that movie so uh, I got the DVD for that. Um I got another movie, I don't know which one I forgot. So we've seen lots of horror films. You know, I, I saw I saw Insidious three, and that movie was so scary because it, I, I hate jump scares, but because that movie was so scary, it's it's like it, it's like I got to a point where fuck it, you know, I just couldn't be bothered. So uh, it's like I I got over some kind of a psychological hurdle, and now it's like even the even if it's like scary or whatever, it's like okay, fine, I don't care. I mean, I'm not like scared to watch it but when i was seeing insidious like i, I only saw it on my mobile phone and i was like uh, keeping it away and i was like oh no when is it gonna come um and uh, the, the volume was just from the phone i wasn't wearing any headphones because i was like oh my god this is so, this is so scary but then because of that experience because i got so emotionally exhausted from seeing that I just like, oh, fine, fuck it, it's just sort of like, I don't know, um, it's like once you've seen like a movie which is kind of scary, it's like, when I, now when I see other horror films, oh, they're not that scary, <laughs> I mean, there are jump scares and all of that, but it's like, oh, this is not scaring me, because like, yeah, I, I, got, I got a taste of the really scary one or something. <sighs> gotta leave at two thirty. I gotta leave at two thirty. Gotta leave at two thirty because I've been massaging my breasts, and sometimes I feel like they do help. And uh, yeah, so I don't know. Ten minutes a day. Uh, so. I don't want to get I feel like my body is like my, my I used to be very self-conscious about my shoulders but when I now when I see it's like in comparison to my bottom part like my shoulders are it's like it's changing sort of like there's more shape at the bottom and it's like not so it's like a, I don't know it's kind of changing a little bit so that's that looks it looks promising, uh, so. Uh, so let's see this. Um, no, it's not gonna work. This is not gonna work. This is too light for me. No, it's not gonna work. I need something with a little bit more. Uh, Maroon in it. What a shame. Oh, what a shame. Well, I could use it for something else. I could use it to, I don't know, paint something. I guess you could mix it with something else. I don't know. Mix it with other lipstick colors. No, it's not good. It's too, uh, it's too, like, I need something with a bit of a maroon, like, purple kind of tone mixed with this. I need a really dark, like a deep red. And this is not deep red, this is like, the orange, the new red is like, it's not, it's like orangish red. I want, I want like dark red, like a dark wine kind of red. It's like, 
No, this is too orangish. So what happens when you order things online is, you know, that's what happens. <laughs> it's 2.15. It's 2.15. I gotta go and, and wash myself. I gotta go and wash myself. I think I need to do some touch up for uh, my uh, lip area. Uh, I need to do some touch up for my lip area. Okay. I hope my hair starts growing. I mean, I can see the head like growing a little bit around here and whatever. <laughs> It's like, you know, you, you gotta, I think you gotta really, like, really take care of it and really, like, eat well and be consistent and, because I haven't been very consistent with anything. It's like, I've been neglecting everything about my physical health, my mental health. It's like, no wonder, no wonder. Anyway. Oh, I took a shower, so and I'm only going to see the psychologist, so it's like I'm not going to. I don't have to be too worried. And she knows I'm trans, so it's like I don't think I have to be too worried about that. <coughs> oh yeah, let me see some of the movies I got. Um, so this is some of the movies that I got from Dead. This is the fifth wave. I heard someone talk about this. This is like. I don't know, they likened it to the end times, the Christian end times. Apparently this is how it will happen. I don't know, someone said. Got, got this. I uh, I saw the, a bit of it. I don't know if I saw the whole film, but I saw a whole bit of it. So, wait a You know, classic. Uh, Blood Simple, Coen Brothers. They usually make good films. Uh, look at this, Ed Wood. I haven't seen this. I thought, hey, why don't I see that? I wonder what that is about. And Stonehurst Asylum. I saw this on Netflix and I, I really like this. This is an excellent film. It's about treating people with mental illness with respect and dignity. Uh, but you shouldn't let them run the world. <laughs> because some of them can be really dangerous. Um, uh, and also something about love and you know crazy people in life. <laughs> uh, uh, Flash for Frankenstein. Uh, I heard that this is, I don't know. Did, did, did Andy who made this? I thought, I thought, I thought the artist made it. What's his name? Anyway, so I anyway, lose. And I also have, got this, this is from, I got from eBay, I'm, I'm kind of, I, I saw this, this is nice, you know, I like this film, this film, yeah. Uh, Frozen, I saw, yeah, this is saw it a while ago and it's a nice horror film, it's really intense. And Mulholland Drive, I saw this a few days ago and I absolutely love this film, I think this film is awesome, I just, really, really good film. I still have to make sense of it because I still don't understand some of the... 
Okay, anyways, between the dreams and the reality, I still, I still have to make sense of it. Anyway, I gotta call my mom, so I'll be going soon, and uh, yeah. Hopefully the therapy will be okay. Yeah, I feel like my, you know, because I'm doing those exercises, I feel like my breasts are going a little bit bigger. It's not, they're not that, you know, it's not like a huge difference, but I feel like it's real. You know, so. Anyway, <laughs> a little difference sometimes. Anyway, uh, a little is always good. Any improvement is good. Uh, okay, it's 2.20 p.m. <clears throat> Jesus, that lipstick. <laughs> uh. So I'm here. Yeah, I feel like I put some weight on. <laughs> I am going to. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do it. Like, really do it. So, uh, yeah, drove here. Uh, my, my, <sighs> but it's the, the three. Oh, shit, guys, it's a bit. It's, it's a winter, but it's a bit warm. Look at my lipstick. Mm. I didn't even put it on properly. Like, <laughs> yeah, I need a bit of a darker, like maroon, purplish tinge, uh, a dark red type thing. Okay, so I'm gonna go. So it's 3.53 p.m. Finished the uh, appointment counseling. Uh, so it was good. Um, I was talking about my lack of motivation and... You know, I think I'm gonna, you know, I need something to focus on and... I know I told her I wanted to I want to be a barrister and uh, so yeah that's probably what I'm going to focus on is to um, do my studies uh, clean my room we talked about a lot about that uh, apparently there's this um group called Toastmasters it's about people who have social anxiety and they have meetup groups so I could join that and uh, help me develop uh, the skill of communicating in groups because I'm, I'm okay at communicating one on one but I'm not very confident talking am amongst the group so uh, Toastmasters. And apparently, I could that, that that's something. I also talked about like my social anxiety and uh, uh, I don't like leaving their room and uh, something, you know, something something to work on. So that, that's what I focus on is like take care of myself and uh, have a career goal. And I was, I was, I was asking, her, is it okay to have a goal in one's life that's a career? And she goes, no, yeah, that's a good goal to have. I'm like, yeah, all right. So, uh, so I guess in this this point in my life, having a career goal is a good goal because uh, I don't have a career. <laughs> so, having a goal that because when I was at school, my goal was to finish school. When I was at uni. My goal is to finish uni. So now that I'm out of uni, my goal is to get a job, develop a career. Oops, sorry, I'm loud. So yeah, so right now I guess it's good to uh, have that. You know, like, so I have a goal now. My goal is to uh, start a career. So I, I, I do want to be a barrister. So that's something I want to work on. Yeah, see how it goes, and yeah, so I made an appointment for next month. So, yeah, so I'm gonna go home now. Uh.